Canonization mass over which Pope Francis is presiding today comes as the Vatican prepares to consider a local nun for sainthood. Sister Blandina Sagali was a member of the Sisters of Charity in Delhi Township. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us now with her very impressive resume, right Larry? That's right, Cammy. When, when you think of Cincinnati women who have made a difference, names like Ruth Lyons, Marion Spencer, Harriet Beecher Stowe come to mind. How about Sister Blandina Sagali? Many of you may have never heard of her, but what she did during her lifetime may very well make her a saint. Blandina Sagali joined the Sisters of Charity at the age of 16. Her first mission work took her to the wild, wild west in the 1870s. She helped build schools in Colorado and New Mexico. She kept journals which she used to write a book, The End of the Santa Fe Trail. It's just a tremendous testimony to her faith and courage and just going about rolling up her sleeves and helping the people that needed to be helped and to, you know, do what needed to be done, really. Sister Judy Metz, the archivist for the Sisters of Charity, says along the way, Sister Blandina encountered Billy the Kid and his gang. After treating a wounded member of the gang back to good health, Billy the Kid told Sister Blandina he would never harm her or her fellow sisters. Years later, Billy the Kid tried to rob a stagecoach. Sister Blandina was on board. She looked out and realized it was Billy the Kid, and she said, well, you know, I can, you know, just, I can stop this. And so she hung out the window of the stagecoach, and she just kind of waved, and he saw her, and he um, just said, okay, you know, and he called everybody off. Sister Blandina returned to Cincinnati and helped found the Santa Maria Institute, which still has a home in Price Hill. It was there she helped Italian immigrants and fought to win women back from prostitution, even knocking on the door of a brothel. She knocks on the door and the madam <laughs> opens the door and she says to her, you know, this is a disgrace and you need to close this place and, you know, really challenges her, which... Not too many people I don't think would do. Sister Blandina stood up for all people, Native Americans, Mexicans, and this note from Thomas Edison shows they worked to create a device to help the deaf hear. I think it was she's the kind of person that had an attitude like, I'm not doing this for myself, and so I need to do it for these other people that really need help. And Cammy, two miracles are required to be canonized as a saint. Blandina has one, which makes her eligible for beatification. Now, supporters hope that there will be another miracle reported that could help make her Saint Blandina. Cammy, back to you. Great story, Larry. Thank you. While Sister Blandina fought for social justice, she was also known for her kindness to children, once hosting 400 children for an outing at Coney Island. Sister Blandina died in 1941 at the age of 91.